everybody. Today I'm going to be reading One Fine Day by Nani Habragian. Now take a look at the cover and tell me what you see. You see a fox outside. You see a sun and then you also see the Caldecott Medal and it's a golden Caldecott Medal. So this was the best book for pictures from the year that it came out. And this book came out in 1971. 49 years ago. I know, can you believe it? But I still love the pictures in it. Now, One Fine Day is a folk tale. So it's a story that could not happen in real life. It has some things in it that could not happen, but it's a folk tale. It was passed down from people in another country. This is a folk tale from Armenia. Armenia is a country in Asia. But I want you to see if this folk tale reminds you of anything else because it reminds me of two stories that I know. So let's read One Fine Day, published by, published by Simon and Schuster. One fine day, a fox traveled through a great forest. When he reached the other side, he was very thirsty. He saw a pail of milk that an old woman had set down while she gathered wood for her fire. Before she noticed the fox, he had lapped up most of the milk. Do you think she's happy about that? What's your clue? The woman became so angry that she grabbed her knife and chopped off his tail. And the fox began to cry. Please, old woman, give me back my tail, sew it in place, or all my friends will laugh at me. Give me back my milk, she said, and I'll give you back your tail. So we know that that could not really happen. It's a made up story, but let's see what. So the fox dried his tears and went to find a cow. Dear cow, he begged, please give me some milk so I can give it to the old woman so she will sew my tail back in place. The cow replied, I'll give you some milk if you bring me some grass. The fox called to the field, Oh, beautiful field, give me some grass. I'll take it to the cow and she'll give me some milk. Then I'll take the milk to the old woman so she will sew my tail in place and I can return to my friends. The field called back, bring me some water. So everybody wants something. The fox ran to the stream and begged for some water, and the stream answered, Bring me a jug. Do you see the jug? The fox found a fair maiden. Sweet maiden, he said, please give me your jug so I can fetch some water to give to the field to get some grass to feed the cow to get some milk to get the old woman to sew my tail in place so I can return to my friends. The maiden smiled. If you find a blue bead for me, she said, I will give you my jug. So it's a repeating story. So as we keep going, we repeat the same things over and over again. Does that remind you of any stories you know? So, the fox found a peddler. A peddler is someone who sells things. And he said, there's a pretty maiden down the road and if you give me one blue bead for her, she'll be pleased with you and pleased with me. Then she'll give me her jug so I can fetch some water to give the field to get some grass to feed the cow to get some milk to give the old woman to sew my tail in place. But the peddler was not taken in by the promise of a pretty smile or the cleverness of the fox, and he replied, Pay me an egg, and I will give you a bead. The fox went off and found a hen. Hen, dear hen, please give me an egg to give to the peddler in payment for the bead to get the jug to fetch the water to give the field to get some grass to feed the cow to get the milk that I must give the old woman in return for my tail. The hen clucked, I'll trade you an egg for some grain. The fox was getting desperate, and when he found the miller, he began to cry. 
Oh, kind Miller, please give me a little grain. I have to trade it for the egg to pay the peddler to get the blue bead, to give the maiden in return for her jug, to fetch the water, to give the field, to get the grass, to feed the cow, to get the milk, to give the old woman so she'll sew my tail back in place or all my friends will laugh at me. <sighs> the miller was a good man and he felt sorry for the fox. So he gave him the grain to give to the hen, to get the egg, to pay the peddler to get the bead. Oh, excuse me. To give the maiden, to get the jug, to fetch the water, to give the field, to get the grass, to feed the cow, to get the milk, to give to the old woman, to get his tail back. The fox returned to the old woman and gave her the milk. Then she carefully sewed his tail in place. And off he ran to join his friends on the other side of the forest. Now, like I said, this is a repeating story, so it says the same things over and over again. He had to get the jug, to get the water, to get the grass. Can you think of any other stories like that? It reminds me of there was an old lady who swallowed a fly because she swallows more and more things to get the fly, stuff like that. It also reminds me of the story, This is the House That Jack Built. Did you ever hear that story? It's kind of like this, it repeats. So it talks about different things that are in the house that Jack built. And it, every page ends, and this is the house that Jack built. So I hope you liked One Fine Day. I will see you next time. Bye.